Good afternoon, everyone. I'm ready to worship our Lord. Amen. Amen. So I invite everyone to please stand up as we start our service for the for for this afternoon. Amen. Let's um, before before we start, let's invite the Holy Spirit in this place that the Holy Spirit itself will flow in this in this service tonight. Amen. As we prepare ourselves also to worship and give the best worship that we have. Amen. Thank you, Lord. 
Lord Jesus, may you fill us with your Holy Spirit, Father God. And Lord, we pray, oh God, um, to the one you're going to share your words, Father God. Um, Lord, bless your life, Father God. And Lord Jesus, and also to us, Father God, as we're going to bless in your words, Father God. Bless your people, Father God. Bless us, Jesus. Lord, as we continue to come to you, Lord God, and as we continue to seek your presence in this afternoon, Father God, as you said in your words, O God, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Thank you so much, Lord God, for your promises to us, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, and fill us, Lord God, with your Holy Spirit, Father God. We trust you, Lord Jesus, as we continue to come to you, Lord God. Hallelujah. We praise you, God.
the same if we didn't go back to to the giver, amen, to the to the creator of everything and to the supplier of, of everything in our life, amen. So be with me in Jeremiah 1 verse 10. It says here, are we all there? Have we found it? Are we carrying our our uh, sword and uh, our bread of life? All the cell phone. Very technical na talaga tayo. <laughs> Amen. So Jeremiah 1.10, it says here, See, today I appoint you over nations and kingdoms to uproot and tear down, to destroy and overthrow, to build and to plant. Amen. Praise the Lord for the reading of His Word. Hallelujah, Father. Should we pray? Hallelujah, Lord. We thank you, Father God, for your very words, Lord. And we pray, Lord Jesus, that each you alone can satisfy the needs and the things that your people want to hear, Father God. Lord, we know that wherever words, O Lord God, that come from the mouth of your servants, it is you alone be magnified and glorified. I mean, in the shadow of your wings and your cross, Father God, that everything, Lord, is for you, for your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. So our topic is about prayer, the ministry of champions. Can you say to the person next to you, you are champion. You are victorious. You are champion and you are victorious. Amen? And you can ask as well, why? Why? Can I hear the answer? Can I hear the answer? Because he is the center of our life anymore. God made us victorious. Amen. Anymore. Because he lives in us. Anymore. Anymore. At the back, any representative? I don't know. Can I hear something? Because God saved us. Amen. Everything is correct. The only thing is and the most important thing is God made us victorious, amen. Because, of course, He redeemed us. He's living in us. And He gave us a new things in our life, amen. But the best thing that we're going to be a champion in Christ if you receive Him as really your father. And how much you receive him as your father. How much? Is it comfortable? Is it comfortable? Okay. Unlimited price, amen. Because he gave the best price, amen. More than what we can give in our life. 
We can only be a champion if we really mean what the life that we have surrendered to our God. Amen. We can really be a champion if we really understand what the life that God has given unto us. Amen? As long as we didn't understand it yet, we cannot say that we are a champion. Amen? As I said yesterday in, in, in our post encounter that even we are a Christian many years ago, even we know God long time ago in our life. Even we are born Christian, born again Christian family in our life. Unless, unless our heart is not fully surrendered to our Lord. Amen? Unless our heart is not fully surrendered to our God, everything is nothing. Even though we know the Bible from cover to cover, even we know how many verses in the Bible. Amen? Amen. The question is, are we living to the world that we know? Are we living to the Bible that we read from cover to cover? Did we really understand that that is our life and our everything? Amen? Unless that we didn't understand yet in our heart these things, we can never be a champion. Amen? So, as Jeremiah 1 verse 10 said, that God appoint you over nations and kingdom. Amen? Do we have any first time? Huh? No, amen. Praise God. So God appointed, appointed you over nations and kingdoms. Can you say to the person, to your brothers or to your sister, God appoint you over nations and kingdoms. Amen? The first thing is, if we can read Po in Jude 1, 12. It says here, can we all read? Can we read Paul? blemish at, the, at love and peace eating with or with you or without the slightest one shepherd feed only themselves they are clouds without rain blown along by the wind autumn trees without fruit and uprooted why is dead amen if we can understand this very message, amen, that we people, we love to do these things, amen, but at, at the long run, it says here that it's like a cloud, 
without our enemies in our life. Amen? Everything is, is only the meaning is very simple. Amen? And sometimes it's senseless to the understanding of each one's lives. Amen? And in Psalms 126, verse 5, what it says, Paul? Amen. So as God appointed you over nations and kingdoms, those who sow tears, Amen, will reap with joy. In our, in our, in our journey in serving God, in our journey in know, knowing God in our life, there is so many things that yet to come. Amen. We cannot say that our life now, we've done so many things for our God. Amen. We cannot say that now we experience everything. Our life is fully satisfied. Amen. As, as our life time goes by, if we are not aware of the things in our situations, in every movement of our life, everything, you know, is is very meaningful unless that we will understand. Sabi nga, if we've done something and we didn't learn from it, we gotta do the same again next time. Amen? If our life always doing something that we never learn, you will see yourself that you are still doing that. You, we will never experience joy from above unless we understand and we learn from our mistakes. Amen? Amen. Amen. God is always teaching us in every day of our life. That's why, for me, I cannot say even almost half of my life, I'm a Christian, I'm a born again Christian. Why? Still I need to know more about Mecca. How about you? How about you? Even me, myself, I'm not satisfied yet for what I'm doing for my God. Can you ask the person next to you? Are you satisfied now with what you are doing for your life? Amen. That means our life is not yet enough. As long as we are living in this world, our life is not enough. And as long as we are proud, we are so proud for what we are doing now and what we have done and what we have learned and what we have reached out. Amen. These things, how we gonna reap joy? How we gonna reap joy? for what we are doing now. If we really know that we have done everything the best in our life. Amen? The second thing is God appoints you over nations and kingdoms. Number two is to, to destroy and overthrow. Amen? We have so many Supporting verse in Proverbs 6.32, Proverbs 11 verse 9, Proverbs 18 verse 9, Proverbs 28 verse 24. 
Ecclesiastes 9, 18, in 1 Corinthians 3, 17, in Hebrew 10, verse 9. In Hebrew 10, 39, it says, But we do not belong to those who shrink back and are destroyed, but to those who have faith and are saved. Amen? We are not belong to those people that turn back. Unless that we really surrender ourselves, our life, to our Savior. Amen? If we still have reservation, if we still have reservation in our life, it says here that we got to see one day that our life will shrink back. Why? Because our life is not yet fully surrendered to our God. Amen? Whatever spirit we have right now in our life, if you are really a true Christian, are we a true Christian? Can you ask the person next to you, are you a true Christian? Are you? Or you are only a Christian by words? Because it's a big difference for Eva if we are a Christian by words and we are a Christian by life. Amen? What is a Christian by word? We are sharing a word of God to the people, but what we share is not seen in our life. That is only a Christian by word. But if we are a Christian by life, what we are sharing, what we are saying to our brethren, to our friends, even we didn't say actually, if they can see in our life, you don't need to say anything. Amen? Mm -hmm. You don't need to say anything. Or if we are a Christian, then only saying and the best thing is nothing happened. Amen? We are only saying but nothing happened in our life. Or maybe we are saying but we are doing opposite way. Maybe we are smiling to our brethren, but when they turn back, their their face is another way. Amen. Maybe they're saying mm, your perfume is so good smell, but when you turn back, yeah, something like that, right? So even this is small things, you know. Even these small, small things, how our life, amen, how our life can be an example to these people that are new believers. How our life can be an encouragement to the new people or to our friends or to these people that not yet been born again. How we gonna save them? 
how we gonna then take them to our God. Amen? How we can save their soul for God. And yet ourself is also another thing. Amen? That's why if we are something like this, that is a person that shrink back and be destroyed. If we want that kind of believer, we want that kind of believer, is it we are that kind of a born again Christian that believe that? Or we are still the same before. We only born again by words. Amen? Amen? And the another thing is, let there be through knowledge the righteous escape. In Proverbs 11 verse 9, it says, With their mouths the godless destroy their neighbors, but through the knowledge the righteous escape. In Proverbs 18, 19, one who is lack in his work is brother to one who destroys. Amen. We can only be satisfied if the righteousness of God is really what we are living for. It says here, the mouth, the godless destroy the neighbors. Amen. We are saying right now, or we are saying to the opposite way, what is the word of God. Amen. Or maybe sometimes we are saying, I am the light of this world, something like that. But is it really we can see in our life that we are the light of this world? Or we are the one who is participating to put the light on the back or under? Amen? So that thing you know, that things we are allowing the spirit that is not from God. As what the the church of the Lord it was, or get off thing, their their special number that there is says there that do not touch. Amen. But still they touch it. And we are saying that your life is a blessing. And yet, we are ruling, amen? We are doing another way. And yet, our life is destroying the life of another person. Or yet, we are destroying the understanding of one person, amen? So this is godless thing. If we don't understand yet, we pray that God will help to understand these things in our life. Amen? Through the knowledge of the righteous, we will escape the temptation of this world. We will escape the bad influence of this world. Are we all here? Amen. Amen. The next thing, let us see, wisdom is better than weapons of war. It says in Proverbs 28, 24, whoever robs their father or mother and says, it's not wrong, it's a part, it's part, partner to the one who destroys. Next slide, now. Wisdom is better than weapons of war. 
Amen. Whoever robs their father or mother and says it's not wrong is partner to the one who destroyed. Let's say our parents teach us, amen, not to steal. And suddenly we saw them that they are stealing. What do you think? How are we going to understand these things? Or if our parents is saying that do not do bad things for yourself. And yet, we are doing these things. So what we are stealing, we are stealing the trust of our parents. Amen? So it says here that it's like we are co-partner of the pattern of this world that destroys the life. Amen? That destroys the understanding of the people around us. How we gonna, how we gonna, how we gonna show our life more and more to this world as a believer? As a true children of God, how are we gonna show more our life? How? Anyone can say? Anyone can say? How? It's like it's like a teacher without a student, right? <laughs> how how we can do the things for our life? Whatever we says, amen. Especially our life, it says that we are. Full gospel. We are Christ centered. We are living in the Word of God. And yet, we are not reading or reading the Word of God. Do you think that's how a believer is? That we are saying that we are full gospel? That we are believing? To the very word of our God in His word. Or maybe we only visit the word of God during Sunday. Or we only visit the word of God every Friday during prayer meetings. That's the time that we can open our Bible, right? Or we are only depending to what the message or the verse of the day in NIV version in our iPhone or in our phone. So we are only depending on these things. What came up, so that is my verse for today. Amen? Is that the life that we are practicing now? Is that our Christian life that is we are practicing now? We don't have our own communication with our God anymore. We are only depending to this pop-up on our email, on our cell phone, that this is the verse of the day, this is the verse for one week, this is the verse for the one year. Are we only depending on that? Do we still have a heart to know more our God? with our own meditation, with our own communication with Him. Amen? So from this time, 
than how we gonna how we gonna receive more the wisdom from our God if we are only depending to the message of another. That is what what he what he posed there is his meditation with, with his father. Amen. How about us? Do we have something to post as well? Or we are posting ah, the same thing as well? We are posting the same thing. So we must always review. Amen? As a student, we always review what is the topic from, last, from yesterday. Amen? As a computer expert, they're always finding out new things. What is the new updates of technology right now? Amen? Why always the same thing that God is reminding us? Why? Why is it always the same thing that we can hear from one year old until we are 33 years old, is still the same thing what we can hear in the Word of God. Why? Because we are fed up already to hear these words. We don't want to hear these words anymore. We, have, we want a new one. We want more expert. We want to be Scientologists that they want to prove How's the creation of this word? We don't want to hear the anymore the word of God. From old time, we want new things. Amen? But God said that we should not depart the book of the law. In Joshua 1. Amen? Do not, de do not depart the book of the law so that we will be prosperous and successful. Are we still in love to the word of God? If we are not in love anymore, so that is the thing that how you can be a champion. How you will overcome this world. How we gonna overcome more souls in this world? Amen? Or we are leading them to be more in the gate of hell? Because we don't want them to come to the church. We don't want them to know God more in their life because we know God already. Is that our life? Is that the champion that God wants to be in us? That we, our life, we Christians, we are the one who gonna lead these people to go back, than to take them up to the gate of hell, for them to know more Christ in their life. Are we Christian? Will be the instrument of these things? Are we Christians? Are we going to allow the work of the enemy through these things in our life? Amen? Amen? So where are we? Where are we? Believers of God. Where are we when we receive Christ as our Lord and personal Savior now from before? Are we the same eager to do the things for God until now? Are we still eager? It is the way that the wisdom of the Lord will show us more and more. And this is the way the wisdom of God gonna move in our life. 
Amen? Until we let our life be used by God. Are we still on fire for doing things for God? Or we are tired already because we are busy in our everyday life. Our time is so busy already. And we don't have time anymore for these things for God. So how? How we can reach these people? How we can reach these people? To know God in our life. To know God more and more in their life. And another thing is in Proverbs 28, 24 and unless that uh, the Lord builds the house, the builders labor in vain. Amen? No, sorry. Psalms 127 verse 1. Number three is to build and to plant. In Psalms 127 verse 1, unless the Lord builds the house, the builders labor in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the guard stands watch in vain. Amen? Unless the Lord is our co-worker, is our co-worker in building the church of God, the people of God. Amen? Whatever, everything what we are doing, if the Lord is the one who is leading us, if the Lord is the one who is guiding us, so our labor will never be in vain. We are, we gonna conquer, amen? We gonna conquer the house that God building. We gonna conquer each one's life that God wants to be built up. Amen? It's not pertaining only about the building, about the house. It's ourself. Amen? Or even the family. If the Lord is not our guide in doing things, everything will be like nothing in our life. So letter B, to build and to plant is each one should build with care. In 1 Corinthians 3 verse 10, it says here, by the grace God has given me, I lay the foundation as a wise builder and someone else, someone else is building on it, but each one should build with care. Are we all know that these people that accept the Lord as their personal Savior, God is the one who is building a foundation in their life. So once we destroy what God has built, Once we destroy what God has built, we are not destroying the person itself, but we are destroying God in her life or in his life, in that person's life. Or we are destroying the building, the temple of God. Because that person is a temple of God. Amen? If we destroy one's life, which is God is building up. So we must think and pray 
for what we have done. Amen? Because God says we should build with care. We should build with care. Not to strap down and not to scramble down, but with care. Amen? We are not destroying the person. We are not destroying the church first. But we are destroying God who built that person. But we are destroying God who built the church. But we are destroying God that who built the temple. And we don't care. But what the word says, we must build with care. And what we are doing. Amen? So 1 Corinthians 8 verse 1, How about food the sacrifice to idol? We know that we all possess this knowledge, but knowledge pops up while love builds up. Amen? If we really understand the things, if we really understand the God that built us, if we really understand the God that saved us, Amen? With full knowledge, Now the love of God that has been shared to us, and that's the love that we are going to share, to build our brethren, our brothers and sisters. Amen? So we must build each other with care. Pag sabi nga po, when you say to the person, to our brethren, I care for you. I care for you. How much you care for me. How much you care for me. Is it the, the brethren that is saying to you how much he cares for you is building you up? Is she build you up? Or is she instructing you down? <laughs> so before we conclude, can we read in Luke 9, 5, 57 to 57 to 62? Can we all read? want to know Christ in their life. So many people that want to follow God in their life. So many people that want to bring for God. And but they says they always so many excuses. Amen? As what it says here that as they were walking along the road a man said to Jesus, I will follow you wherever you go. How much are we going to follow Jesus wherever he may go? Or how much are we going to let our brethren 
to follow Jesus how much as they can. And Jesus replied, Houses have dens and birds have nests, but the Son of Man has no place to lay his head. Amen. Every creature of this world has a place because they are planned before they create them. How much more our life? The Bible says that we are the most special creation of our God in the book of Genesis. And yet, we don't know what we are doing. And yet, we don't know where we are going. Right? Last time I saw how the birds made a nest, you know. They're creating their own home for their child, for their children. It's so lovely, actually. You see, even them, they know how to manage everything. And they are talking about the special creation of our God. How we are serving one another. Amen? And Jesus said here, he said to another man, follow me. But he replied, Lord, first let me go and bury my father. And Jesus said to him, let the dead bury their own dead. But you go and proclaim the kingdom of God. Amen. So, let's say one day, we don't know that we are meeting the Lord and he commanded us that we must go and make disciples. Share God. Amen. Share the goodness of God. Share the everlasting life, what he has in our life, what we have received in our life. So what we gonna do? What we gonna say to him? Because we don't know who is, because we don't know who is the, the man that is telling us. And yet, in, in, in reality, it is God already. Amen? So what we gonna say? Maybe it's hard for us, especially if we don't know the person, right? If we don't know the man that we met and say to us these things. Maybe it's very hard for us to follow him because we don't know him. Because we only gonna follow the friend that is telling us. To follow our friend is much more easier to follow than the man who is or than the man who is saying that proclaim the good news for God. Amen. But if our friend will gonna say, Come, let's go, we make uh we make evangelism. So, you're going, amen? Come, let's go to this place so we can make evangelism there. We can share the word of God. I think it's very easy for us to go because we are friends. We have a good connection, amen? But how much if the, the person we don't know and yet he is saying to us that you must do a mission for God to save this place. Amen. Let's say go in Christiania and share the good news of God there. What we gonna say? Lord, I'm afraid to go that place. <laughs> I don't know anyone. So how I can share your word in that place? Amen. And then still another said, I will follow you, Lord, but first let me go back and say goodbye to my family. That is very special things because family is always very special for us. Amen. But they knew or he knew that it's Christ who is telling him to share the good news. But not Jesus Christ didn't say to him that don't go back to your family. 
He didn't mention there, right? So why he need to say that he must go back and must say goodbye to his family? So in every situation, there is a special meaning. In every situation, there's a very special way, amen. And no one who puts a hand on the flow, flower and look back is fit for the service in the kingdom of God. Amen. That means what we have done is done. We must face the new things in our life. Amen. If we look back to what we have done, the Lord said that we will never be fit in the kingdom, in the service in the kingdom of God. So if we look, how are we going to be champion? If we look back, how are we going to be champion? The Lord said, it's done. And we must look, move, move on. Amen? So that we will be fit in the service of God. So therefore, in Hebrews 7.25, he is able to save completely those who come to God through him because he always lives to intercede for them. Amen? God is always there. And he is able to save us and to give us a new hope and a new beginning in our life. Amen? So continuously intercede how the Lord intercedes our life. Continuously intercede our brethren in Christ. Amen? If the Lord is giving you a person, pray for it. Pray for her. Amen? Amen. Intercede. You never know how is the situation right now. And in Luke 10, 19, I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy and nothing will harm you. Amen? Can you say, God given me, God given me authority, authority to trample down, to trample down snakes, and scorpions. snakes and scorpions. No one can harm me. No one can harm me. Once again, I have God has given me, God has given me authority, authority to trample down, to trample down snakes, and snakes and scorpions. And nothing can harm me. Amen. Amen. That is what we say prophetically. That no one can harm you. Amen. Whatever the works of the enemy, no one can harm you. As long as we let ourselves be covered or be protected by our God. We are all here. We want to be protected. Amen. We want to be protected. Amen. Amen. Therefore, we have authority to destroy the temptation, to destroy the power of the enemy, to destroy the distraction of the enemy in our life. Amen? Amen? So, if we stand on that, we are champion. Amen. We are champion for God. We are champion in our life. Amen? Amen? Therefore, we need God every day of our lives. Amen. If we really want to be champion, we need God every day of our lives. Amen? We need to practice our Christianity in our life. We need to do it every day, every second. Don't be tired or don't get tired because the Lord is the one who is leading us. Because the Lord, He wants us to want the victor crown. Amen? So, glory to God. As we continuously offer our heart and surrender once again in our life. Everything to God.
So thank you, Lord, for the things that you have done, Father. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Father. Should we all arise and make our heart be open? Share everything to God right now. What is the enemy is putting in your in your heart? What the enemy is putting in your mind? Give everything to God right now. He said that he has given you the power to destroy the works of, and plans of the enemy. We need to be with God always. We need to be in the presence of God as we are longing more and more.
the things what you have given unto us is not to destroy, but to build with care in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you. We thank you and to all the praises and glory with thanksgiving and joy in our heart. This is our prayer. Amen. 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 Um, everyone, shall we rise again and again? Amen. Amen. For we will declare the victory of our Lord. So we got na forget the past, forget the past behind, and move forward. Sa present natin ngayon. Amen. Amen. For we have overcome, and Jesus is our victory.
What time is it? Yeah. It's time. <laughs> I have here a passage from Luke 6, verse 38. Can you open the Bible with me? Luke 6, verse 38. It says, Give and you will receive. Your gift will return to you in full. Press down, shaken together, to make room for, for more. Running over and poured into your lap. The amount you, you give will determine the amount you get back. Amen. God is always asking, God asking us only 10% of our income. When we're giving our tithes, give it heartedly. Na, na walang doubt that na iisipin natin na God will provide sa lahat po ng mga needs natin sa buhay. Ibibigay natin yung yung karapat-dapat sa Kanya. Kasi lahat, lahat, po, ng, lahat po ng biyaya na, na naranasan natin, na tatangasan natin ngayon, andito tayo sa Denmark dahil po yung sana. Mayroon tayo KK, Lahat naman siguro may kay kay lahat binigay yun sa kanya. Then as tayo ni God, bigyan kita ng isang kapatid yung bibigay mo. Bibigay mo ba sa akin yung karapat dapat na sa akin at dadagdagan ko yun? Amen! Amen! Magkakaroon ng maraming kay kay yun. Yun na, na kahit ano pong gawin natin, hindi, hindi, po yung, hindi po natin hayaan yung buhay natin yung, ay ang, ang pera magiging sentro po ng mga buhay natin. Isipin natin na si God, si God pa rin ang nagbibigay ng lahat. Na si God pa rin ang magiging sentro ng lahat. May mga kaking na tayo, pero inuuna pa rin natin yung kaking natin kung is na mag, mag service service. No? So, no? So, yun nga, tinatest kayo yung God sa lahat. Sa lahat po ng mga bagay na ito. Pero itong pagbibigay ng tithes, 10% lang po ng income natin magkasa sa silikita natin po. Pero, 3 to KK pa. So, 5,000. 10% lang po yung hinihinigal sa akin. Hindi, hindi niya man na kailangan ng pera, kailangan niya lang yung tayo, yung tiwala natin sa kanya. Kung gano'n tayo ka-faithful sa lahat ng bagay, binigay natin yung 10% natin and we, we, we trust Him sa lahat po ng bagay na God will give back a hundred folds sa ating mga buhay. I have here Hebrews 13 verse 5. Keep your lives free from the love of money and be content with what you have. Because God has said, never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. Amen. Can you close your eyes? Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Lord, salamat po sa mga buhay na yung mga kanakanan dito, Lord. Lord, as we give our tithes, Lord, ikaw na pong bahala po, Lord, na, na mag-sustain sa amin po, Lord. A hundred, for, a hundred folds, Lord, na pagbalik na aming mga biyaya, Lord, sa mga buhay. Lord, salamat po sa aming host family, Lord, na, na natutkop sa amin dito. Give them strength, Lord. Provide all their needs, Lord Jesus. Lord, thank you po sa aming mga, sa aming mga buhay, sa buhay ng aming mga kapatidan, Lord. Give them all the strength, Lord, that they need. Sa daily po ng paghahanap buhay po, Lord, sa pagtatrabaho po, Lord. Give them, give them the desire of their heart, Lord. In this all pray to say, Amen.
po is every Friday, 6.30 p.m. po. Um, Kontay po natin yung 6.30 p.m. And then we will start at... 7 o'clock po. Because we have uh, some uh, practice po. 30 minutes practice for the music team po. And uh, also for um, our... For our live group po, kung nakikita po nito, um, pwede nyo yung ating show na po, our every Wednesday, 7.30 p.m., our head is Rebecca Amores, but it's back is on Saturday, 4 p.m., Megan Santino, and for the one po is uh, Brother Jojo is for now, also 8 p.m. po yung start na kanilang Bible study. And for our Frederick's group, Sunday, Saturday, 7 p.m. with our own, um, uh, Sister Princess po. And also, sa Pitoa po, Saturday, 4 p.m. with Sister Aileen. And hello sa Wednesday, 7 p.m. po, with our uh, Sister Rona. And also, for the Tofi po, uh, every Wednesday, 7.30 p.m. your stream po. So, kung sino po sa inyo yung wala po uh, live group, um, wala po po mga live group, at kung saan po kayo yung malapit, just uh, contact the person yung nakikita po nyo sa, sa screen po na yun. And also, um, um, for uh, our activity, yung activity po is on, I think, second week of May, that is uh, Saturday. Yeah, and second week of May, and our uh, young head po is Eileen, but she's on the kitchen right now. She's uh, cooking for our um, for our dinner. And also um, for our title, what about this book? June 13, 13. Ah, uh, kasi nopo dito yung hindi pa po, um, hindi pa po na uh, let us know kung sino po yung willing uh, na magpa-water baptism po that is uh, before our uh, JLL uh, anniversary po uh, which is on June 14 June, uh, June 15 our 15th anniversary po here in Area Expert Pitch um, for me, it will start on 4pm so Everyone is invited. At kung may mga friends po kayo na gusto po isama, that is very uh, welcome po yan na di ba welcome po natin sila and also di ba uh, blessed sa uh, ano po, sa ating sa ating anniversary po. And our theme is pursue peace. Yan po, sa Hebrews 12, 11. And also, we have a Tigers and Givers meeting that is on May 3rd after Sunday service. Okay po. So, lahat po ng Tigers and Givers is um, need na umatay. Hindi po, kay, hindi po yun once to be need na umatay. So, sa lahat po ng mga Tigers and Givers po natin. And we have also a um, joint service here in CPH together with Dumpo that is on May 3 also. So, it's a... Um, Big celebration din po kasi ang daming tao, ang daming mga ka-sister and brothers uh, brothers po natin na doon sa lungo is makakasama na lang po natin sila. Amen po ba? Amen. Amen. And also, uh, so that is for our uh, announcement po. And um, if there's anything na uh, question po, you can ask our coordinator, Sister Sadi Kostoski. For, for additional information that you want to, to, to ask. Okay, Bob. So, before we will close, up, uh, close our service, let's see. And so,
Can you serve us so we have our dinner and I don't know. We have dinner with rice, of course. I know with rice. <laughs>